He's made history as the first former or current US president to have a criminal conviction. But should the UK be working with a convicted criminal? Uh, let's go live to Washington to speak to Mary Jo Jacoby, former aide to Ronald Reagan. Look, thank you very much. First things first, I, I actually, as I understand it, I do. it does appear to me that he's got decent grounds for uh, a legal challenge to this. Uh, evening, Patrick, and thank you for having me on. And yes, he does have grounds, it would appear, and his attorneys certainly think he has grounds. But I think regardless of how those appeals go, and it'll be after the election before the appeals are likely to be heard, he will be referred to as the twice impeached convicted felon, former President Donald Trump. And there's your soundbite that you will hear a million times between now and mm. November 5th. OK, so let's knock it on and make it make it all about us Brits here, if that's OK. I mean, sure. should we really be engaging with a guy like that if he does become president again? I mean, America's our greatest ally. Obviously, we should be from that perspective. But you just rattled off a couple of reasons why maybe we shouldn't. I got to tell you, if he's the president come January 20th, 2025, I don't think the UK or any other country has a choice. If you want to engage with the biggest economy in the world, with what whatever the president might be says we are i am the leader of the free world then you will engage with donald trump or you'll engage with joe biden um but quite possibly you could be engaging with bobby kennedy jr so there's your options yeah okay you ser you seriously think that, that bobby kennedy jr is a uh, potential to actually win the presidency do you? Um, uh, you know, you never know. American politics has certainly changed since I was in it. And uh, right. he's getting on a number of ballots. There's a chance he'll be on the debate stage with Trump and Biden in June if CNN lets him and if he gets enough um, signatures. So we'll have to see. But, it, you know, it, America is a deeply divided country right. between half of the country that thinks that the rule of law was usurped and half think it was upheld. And it will take quite something to bring those two halves together. Well, I mean, the facts are that in, in some polls, in some polls, uh, this result has seen Trump bounce up about four, between four to six points. There's also been millions and millions and millions of dollars raised to his 34.6 to be exact, 34.6 yeah. in six hours. Yeah, I mean, people think it's rigged, don't they? A lot of people think it's rigged. Um, a lot of people think that yesterday was a magical day. I heard a, uh, a lawyer claim a magical day in which the rule of law was upheld and the mm. country should be proud. It was an historic day. And Donald Trump set out to make history when he came down that escalator um, many years ago. And he seems to keep finding new and different ways to do so. Well, Mary, thank you very, very much.